Guys, see how exactly choline esterases work. Okay, this is a choline esterase. Okay, it's an enzyme. It has two sides, an ionic site and ester esteractic site. Anyways, acetylcholine binds to both of these sites and then acetylcholine gets degraded to acetyl and choline. That much is very easy to understand, right? Now, what happens? Carbamates, they bind again to both the sites and uh, acetylcholine can't bind here. So, these are anti-choline esterases. Organophosphates are also anti-choline esterases. However, they bind only to one site. The other site will be free. How pralidoxin actually works? Pralidoxin actually has a positive charge. So, it comes and binds here to the anionic site. Did you understand? Here, pralidoxin will come and sit. And what it will do? It will join with the phosphate which is here in the esteratic site. So, the, this oxime and organophosphate will join and leave away. And this acetyl uh, uh, choline esterase will be reactivated. Is it clear? Just observe this diagram here. It will be easy to understand. Pralidoxime is positively charged. It will bind to the anionic site. Then what it will do? It will bind to the phosphate that is bound to this esteratic site. Then it takes away the oxime phosphate. Then those two will diffuse away from the choline esterase and choline esterase will get reactivated. So this can happen only if you give pralidoxime in very early stages of organophosphate poisoning. So, this is the mechanism of action of pralidoxine. Important for exam, guys. So, you should know it. Fine. Okay. Bye-bye.